Okay, thank you so much, sisters, for joining me for the dance. Mm, so have a seat, drop right into the heart. Mm, continuing on in this theme as we bring our heart rates down and expand into being love, breathing into the heart, opening to receive more light, more love, more energetics, releasing into the field. Ah, the delight of dancing together with our sisters, breathing in the love light intelligence of divine solar activation, exhaling to nourish every cell in your body with that light. Breathing in, allowing yourself to release into the field all that does not serve you, exhale. Mm. And taking a moment now just to drop anchor to set your roots down into Gaia in just the way that's right for you. Visualize, see, feel, sense from the base of the spine, dropping that anchor down through the layers to connect into the earth. Our bodies are made of the substance of earth and that we are eternal spirits as we journey here, our connection with her supports us. So really feel and allow that connection, let those roots sink in and reach out in just the way that's right for you. Breathing, attuning to the heart, and as you inhale now, drawing the energy and the life force up, up, up through the body, through the layers into the body, drawing up the life force from Gaia, just like sap rising up through the roots and into the tree. Each inhale, each exhale, saturating you with the life force energy, allowing your body and the waters of your body to come into harmonic resonance with Gaia. Hmm. And as that energy rises into the heart, feel your love for her. Feel your connection to the sacred places on earth that have awakened you, that have supported you on this earth walk in this or other incarnations. And allowing that energetic to expand into the field around you, like the toroidal field that comes from the heart, from the center of the chest. For all of us, each of us, we have that toroidal field, that energy field that surrounds us. And from that place now, attuning to the crown of the head, to breathe in and draw the eternal light and the plasmic light available to us now down through the crown. Each inhale, each exhale, drawing that energy down. And if you have a connection with the Syrians, the Styri Syrian, the, the, the star, Dog Star Sirius or the Syrian Council, the Syrian system, just Notice the way you can receive download guidance right now in this breathing in, this drawing, this welcoming and opening, pulling it down through the energy centers into the heart and letting the eternal wisdom of divine light, of your guides, of the Syrian council to Expand and share that energetic in the toroidal field that surrounds you. So you are surrounded in an ever-flowing cycle of the life force energy from Gaia and the divine eternal life force energy of Mother, Father, God and our higher guides opening the heart into the field for this Lionsgate transmission and this concurrent theme of sisterhood we'll be exploring today as well. Mm. 
And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, staying connected with the heart. Welcome to the sisters who have joined us. Okay, so here we go. I have some things I want to share today. First, an overview, then an exploration of the heart energies, and then sisterhood in the lion's gate. And then we will, I'll do a, a guided experience, uh, or uh, unless there's a transmission that comes through before that, and we'll share. So overview of where we are in space and time during this ascension. So starting in the spring of 2024 and moving through the spring of 2029, at least according to some of the teachers I've been um connecting with and the own the energetics coming through where it feels resonant um we are in an ascension acceleration i mean most of us have felt this certainly since the um since all of the solar activity that happened in the spring uh, we have been really receiving a tremendous amount of light code energy which is informing us at levels that are beyond you know like the 3D science concepts, although even apparently NASA now has recognized that with all this solar activity, there's an additional um, energy belt that's around the earth now, uh, or they're calling it radiation. And what, what we know is that this is these are codes of information for us to download, to upgrade us. And if you're not aware of this, there is a... Um, um, the, the electromagnetic uh, shielding that was around Gaia has reduced, and that's what's allowing in photonic light, plasmic light, information, light is information into our field. So while, uh, you know, from the 3D perspective, that looks like, oh, the electromagnetic protection shields are down, actually what that is is it's the allowance for our ascension. It's allowance for the density within which we've lived as humans to, um, to release, to open to multi our multidimensional skills, abilities, and talents. Now, most of our sisters and brothers of earth are still in the old matrix. And if you think even about the lifestyle styles of particularly the Western world right now, indoors, cubicle life, attached to their their devices disconnected from nature so it's very hard to receive that energetic um and then of course not everyone has been born into this world at this time to fully awaken and ascend we're all at different places in our in our journey and there was a, actually a quote in that song about i need to see the faces of my sisters and brothers in different places to show me that i'm in just the right place I'm paraphrasing, but uh, he said it more poetically. Um, so, so we who are here and gathering in groups like this and retreat, medicine retreats, taking, taking um, you know, pilgrimages to sacred sites in devotion to our own awakening, we're at the leading edge. And even though there may have been teachers and guides before us, we really are at the leading edge. And so what that's meaning for for us, it's like, yeah, we're at the spiritual leading edge, right on, it's all good, rainbows, unicorns. Purging is what it means of late, purging. Because as these light codes come in, as we are being bombarded with photonic light, with plasmic, cosmic mother plasma information, guidance from those teachers and energetics that we could not access before, all that the all the energies that we carry within our body mind vehicle our energy signature our our soul matrix meaning other incarnations family lineage etc that are not in alignment with those high frequencies must be purged and released and what i have been seeing and some of you have heard me say this already and many of you have seen this too and are some are experiencing it are some really challenging circumstances shocking physical diagnoses rug pulled out from under financial shock relationship two by four upside the head or out of left field sudden sudden energetics that are calling us to purge clear upgrade love up in frequency those aspects 
that we've been carrying for us in our own soul matrix, in this personal life, family lineage, and sometimes for the collective that we are need here to clear. Okay. So that's part of what's going on. And that requires fierce courage, fierce courage and the support of our loving allies. And that weaves in those themes weave into our theme today, because who is the fierce, courageous, the lion to be lion hearted, to be, to face the fear with courage and love and transmute it through the witness of our own loving hearts. And I think about the, the lion, the, the lions, not that I'm an expert on lions or anything, but it is the tribe of the female lions who do all the work. They're the ones who hunt together. They're the ones who raise the babies together. And the sisterhood of light leaders is being called to heal at this time. The Many of us carry uh, the witch wound, the sister wound, the mother wound, all of that stuff. As light leaders, we came to clear it. So I'm going to weave in some of these, these themes now and all related to the heart. So astrologically, we are in the sign of Leo. And Leo is ruled by the sun. And it rules symbolically because all signs have a body part they're associated with, the heart. And the heart in, in Latin, cor, which comes into the French, cor, you know, is, is the heart. Courage, courage. Courage comes from the heart. It doesn't come from the mind. It certainly doesn't come from the testes of the masculine. It comes from the heart. True courage is the capacity to face that which we do not want to see with love and compassion. And that is the activation we are called to at this time. So I was very strongly guided this morning to weave in the energetics of the spiritual heart today. And that's what we're going to, I'm going to be guiding us through a, 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 an experience meditation here that, that I've been doing to really, really activate the spiritual heart because it is our spiritual heart that holds the high frequency of our God light, the spark that is the divine within us. It is also the space that opens the stargate of the heart for us to have access to the higher realms, to the plasmic light, to the cosmic information that is coming to us. It is not a head thing. Believe it or not, it's not even a pineal thing. The pineal gland, yes, that is a, that's our antennae to get information, but it is the heart that, that is the, uh, the, the loving receiver from the higher realm of the God spark within us, the receiver transmitter. So we can gain information through the pineal, through that antennae, right? But it is the heart that gives us the capacity to translate downloads information into viable, compassionate action in the world, viable, compassionate self-love, the healing balm of what we need in order to, to lovingly purge all of the old frequencies, whether we're doing it for our personal lifetime, our soul matrix, our family lineage, or the collective. All that is not love is coming up to be healed and released. The codes we are receiving from Solaris, Father, Son, which who is the ruler of Leo, and the Sirius star, star just add to the power to activate our own heart stargate for highest outcomes and greatest love. So the heart, now let's weave in sisterhood in the lion's gate. Given that this is the auspicious 8-8 lion's gate or 888, many are saying this year, again, that's a you know, we're in a Gregorian calendar, so I I only, I don't weigh that super heavily um, because, you know, 2024 adds up to eight, right? So then we have 8th of August, 2024. Um, but we, what we can do is really connect with the Leonic energies as part of our gathering. And again, the lioness pack, the sisterhood and the heart. So some of us have I, I I would argue that if we were to look from a higher higher perspective, uh, we would see that each of us here and each 
star seed, light worker, priestess, um, you know, Christ consciousness student who is on the planet at this time has several layers of uh, dedication and 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 um, intention for the incarnation. One is to raise up enough to ascend out of this 3D matrix because we are in the end of a spiritual season. We are in an ascension cycle. We all have the opportunity to move out of 3D. So that's a little bit at like the personal soul or part of the soul monad intention. But with that, many of us who have done work over incarnations to prepare for this incarnation, this opportunity to ascend out of 3D, have also agreed to clear family lineage stuff to serve, right? To, to clear for the collective as well, based on the themes that have been significant in our soul matrix so for example, using myself as an example, I have had many incarnations as a warrior and a warrior king leader. And I've been doing some deep, uncomfortable, painful, physically challenging, emotionally challenging, clearing on that, clearing it from my own soul matrix, but also knowing that at a collective level, the, the, the masculine has been very, very, uh, violated really you know fodder for the cannon fire over the period of uh, kali yuga um you know no no capacity to cry no no you know you do you know what are you a little girl what are you a pussy all of that energetic even though i don't necessarily experience that in my personal like the dawn identity doesn't have that there are layers that are clearing through my actual bones and structure that relate to clearing that so you, if you reflect on your own life and you see the patterns for you could, and the, you know, the big ones are physical health, relationship, um, uh, finances, right? These are the things, self-actualization of, of your dreams, um, for some also leadership, this kind of thing, feel into where you may have themes where you feel like you're facing, you're starting to come up against the wall of like these these karmic knots, these uh, they're called grantas uh, in Sanskrit, or you could say some scaras, soul scars that we are clearing. So one of those that I would say many, many, if not most women uh, who are embodied as female in this incarnation uh, are dealing with is the sister wound. You know, we have been in a, a, a structures, hierarchical structures that are based on a dominator model in which um, uh, the masculine is valued over the feminine uh, for a long, long time. And we don't have to get into the old, you know, feminist arguments about patriarchy anymore. That's not the point. We're alchemically transmuting within ourselves at personal and collective levels, lots of things. And one of them is sisterhood. Now, um, that has shown up as lots of betrayal, lots of mistrust, lots of hurt, lots of lots of um, wounding, and um, an inability to open into a community of sisters. And I don't know if any of you here have that or to what degrees we have it, to different degrees where it might be a significant, we could say body of work that you are dedicated to clearing in this incarnation. Again, for yourself, for your lineage, for the collective. We all have it to some degree. It could be around menstruation. It could be around literal sisters. It could be the witch wound, leadership, mother trauma, narcissistic mothers. I mean, fill in the blank. And the reason why I'm teasing all this out is because one, we had a request to talk about sisterhood in one of our live streams here in the community. And two, because at this ascension cycle, it is the feminine, it is the divine feminine's return. And we as females, her emissary, her capital H emissaries, that is leading the way. We are leading the way to the ascension, not at the denigration of the masculine, not at the neglect or the separate, further separation, none of that, none of that but really about re-embracing and receiving divine mother codes, receiving the divine light of the feminine in order to rebalance what has been long out of balance and to rise up, to lift as we rise as a sisterhood, where we celebrate each other's wins, where we witness each other's vulnerability, where we give each other a hand as we 
as we fall down and, and, and want to rise up from our knees. So we are healing the sisterhood in order to come to the center and lead in light for our sisters and brothers of earth in the ascension. Now, there is that saying that Gandhi, I believe, said about it is the Western woman who will save the world. Um, I, I see that slightly differently, but not really. Uh, it is the, the women who have benefited, who, who are not living in third world struggle. So we, we don't have to be Western per se. Uh, and uh, who are leading the light of our ascension. That is what saves the world. It's not you know, going out there being presidents. I mean, God, we don't want to jump into the matrix of that old structure. Um, but, but from our hearts, from our heart of compassion, from the heart of mother frequency, the mother ray, the mother who loves without condition, the mother aspect of God is returning and we are the ones. And so when we gather in sacred space with other sisters, we are literally imprinting in the field new light codes for all of our sisters and brothers to accept and embrace their divine feminine aspect. Uh, for the men who, the brothers who are, I mean, they're, you know, women have had a little bit, we're, we've had a, a lead on this whole awakening, right? Many of us have been doing spiritual work, personal development work for a couple of decades and the brothers are just getting started but there are in some ways but there are men who are beginning to they've done enough of their own reclaiming their masculine aspects in a balanced and healthy way the magician the king the warrior and the lover to begin to really heal their inner feminine and um, i'm reminded of isis who helped osiris her beloved to put himself back she put him back together after he was severed by hatred and fear and greed and the attack of his brother set so this is part of our role as well is to serve as frequency bearers of the compassionate heart of the mother to support our sisters in trusting each other again and forgiving each other and trusting their own inner feminine, as well as our brothers who are just getting started because it has not been safe for men to trust each other and, 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 and for men, therefore, to rely on the women in their lives to do their emotional work for them. And this is imbalance. This does not lead to the balance and harmony of a new earth. So the sisterhood is so valuable right now. And of course, we see this right in the collective. We see how many women's retreats. I mean, this is what I've been doing. And I, I know I'm being called to, at some point, probably expand to work with men as well, more, more fully. Um, right now, it's, it's bits and pieces here and there. Um, but women's circles, women's groups, women's retreats, women's communities like this community, uh, all of these have been serving us to help us to remember and reclaim and heal the wounds of sisterhood so that we lift and rise together so we are fully empowered and without fear of each other, without fear of betrayal and harm anymore. And it's a beautiful thing. And I, I feel like we're really getting, we're, we're, we're gaining momentum now. We have traction now. And while we still may find in contexts of retreats or even online groups where you get a you get a container buster who actually is quite wounded with the feminine and finds ways to um, try and bust the container we also have lots of skills and tools to resolve those issues to nip them in the bud and to do it with compassion and love and boundaries so my invitation now is for us to really take a moment to just tune into your relationship to the women in your, your life and your own heart. So just tuning in, is there, take a moment to just explore inside yourself. Where have I felt betrayed by a sister, a biological or other sister? Where have I felt mistrust or the little, uh-uh? Where have I felt that I opened myself fully to a sister and she held herself back, not trusting me? Where have I been in a group, a retreat, a container, 
where a sister in her own wounding manipulated, created drama triangle, busted things up. Where have I perhaps done that? And if nothing comes, that's fine. You're holding the field for those who are looking to forgive these aspects. And now let us each, those of us who have a, a specific or numerous of these issues, remembrances, bring those as if we're sitting in a circle, bring those to the center of the circle. From the heart, offer them to the center. As if we are all in circle together right now, offer them to the center. And just connect back with the heart and open into the heart. And can you recognize that choices of sisters that wound other sisters were made from a level of consciousness steeped in fear, danger, betrayal. And that those are old choices we no longer need to make. Hmm. And now calling on the light of your own divine spark within the heart. Allow that light to pour forth into the center of the circle. And you may feel it flowing through you from the crown or the root or the back of the heart or all of the above. As Sirius, Father Son, Divine Mother, Plasmic Light, and your own divinity, pour forth the great compassion of the eternal Mother, Father, God to flow through you as conduit now of divine love. Feel the way your heart opens even more, just like a stargate, opening, opening, the diamond golden light of love eternal, pouring through you, from you, offering into the circle the love light, the intelligence, the compassion to bathe any old stories, wounds, betrayals in this light now. Feel, 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 open, 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 pour forth. Loving up in frequency all of our collective sister wounds through the stargate of the heart, the fierce courage of the lioness. Hmm. And even as this beautiful energy flows to us and through us, feel the way it actually is bathing you in that very light upgrading your cells, upgrading your auric field, your emotional and mental levels, layers of your energy body, and all the layers beyond that. Just taking a moment now to allow yourself to be bathed on all levels of your being the divine love light of Holy Mother awakened, remembered, and returned for our ascension. And in your mind's eye, just notice how the energetics in the center of the circle, all of those old stories, wounds, and all the sisters connected with it, known, or, known and unknown, are transforming 
by the love light offered from our hearts, offered with courage and love. Trust what comes, see and know what is transforming. And if thoughts, ideas, or visions come up that are not of the light, ask your guides to show you the highest manifestation possible to allow for the healing, the transformation to occur now. That's right. Mm. And let that light expand and notice the way all that was in the center of the circle rises up now in so much sparkling golden light to be released into the field of love, setting our sisters free of anything that was chosen in another level of consciousness and thereby, of course, setting ourselves free in the understanding that all sisters are but mirrors and frequency matches of what had been inside of us. As we change, the world changes. As we expand into light, the world is given the light of our love. As we open into the field of expanded awareness, we receive and transmit higher codes of light to serve the ascension, to serve the love in our hearts and to allow ourselves to receive all that is ours, which is the love of God eternal. Breathe and open into the heart. And we'll take a few moments to really tune into the heart, focalizing your attention, coming to the altar of your heart now, knowing that this is the God spark. And so with reverence and in complete acceptance, unconditional, complete love, offer your love to the God spark within your own heart, your energetic heart, not the muscle, not the chakra. And notice the way as you extend and offer this love and devotion to God, you receive it and are bathed in the light, the grace of our mother, our mother, father, our eternal, supernal self. And just take a few moments now to bask in that, to receive fully, expanding ever wider, allowing Beautiful. And now just as we are in this holy space of peaceful love light, if you have a request for a specific set of energy codes, support, guidance, insight, ask it now and then allow yourself to receive codes that will be translated either now or later as your day and your week unfold. Putting into the field the request, asking source for the support. Perhaps it is to be able to see the highest trajectory of ascended earth, your unique contribution now how to resolve a certain situation of health, relationship, or money, or simply the next right focus for you. Open to receive the answer to your request. 
trusting and knowing it will come in the days, weeks, maybe even the hours ahead. Hmm. As we align at this time with the great star Sirius, with the sun in the beautiful, open-hearted, expanded, benevolent heart of the Leo lion, healing and clearing old sister wounds for self and collective, we literally kick ourselves up is what I'm hearing. We uptick our energetics to a higher frequency where we can see, feel, sense, and know where our intuitive capacities come online more clearly and where our multidimensional and multi-incarnational skills, abilities, and talents cultivated over many soul incarnations come online that we may serve with courage and love like the lioness, this incredible organic ascension of Gaia and humanity. And so offer yourself a moment of great love, appreciation, and compassion. A deep bow of respect for your own courage and love to be here now Open that heart, offer and reach up to the sun, connecting the stargate of your heart with Solaris in gratitude for the lioness in you. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sisters. Take a deep breath. Begin to come back into the physical form, wiggling fingers and toes, wiggling, rolling shoulders, hips into the body we come and open your eyes, fully awake, fully alert. Ah, thank you. Mm. Okay. Thank you, sisters, for joining me for this very powerful energetic offering for the planet healing transmission extension of love so we're going to open the floor now for shares for wisdom insights what all do you have to share or request or ask Clarif clarifying questions we have much wisdom here in this gathering, this group. So the floor is yours. I'm going to mute myself now so you can go ahead and go when you're ready.